Hello everybody and welcome to another Corona tutorial. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Corona to Vantage Live Link, which is new functionality that got added in Corona 12 update one. Now, what this thing does is it basically establishes a live link between your DCC tool and Vantage, which means any changes you make to your scene will get updated, transferred over to Vantage. And again, this works as a live link, so it doesn't require you to uh, export and re-export your scene anytime you make a change to it. Now, what that then enables you to do is a couple of different things. It basically opens up a couple of different workflows for you. So one, just as an example, right, you can now uh, work in your C uh, work in your DCC tool on your scene, right, uh, but have Vantage open on the side. And because of LiveLink, every change that you make to your scene, uh, Vantage will reflect that. The change is going to get transferred over uh, to Vantage, right? And so now you can use Vantage's real-time renderer uh, to kind of uh, get a preview of your scene out, right? So you can use it as this sort of uh, viewport enhancement, if you will. Now, what's extra cool about it is that, for example, if you just want to send a couple of previews to your client, you can just save whatever you see in Vantage and send those out uh, to your client. That's useful, for example, in cases where you don't need the for full offline render Corona-esque quality for your previews, right? Right. And maybe just as another workflow example, uh, let's say you're working in, on your scene in your DCC tool, right? But you ultimately want to render it out in Vantage. Well, then in this case, you can use the DCC tool you know well and you like, right? Um, and you can continue using Corona. And at the same time, you can see how the scene is going to look like, exactly how it's going to look like in Vantage because of the live link. Right. So ultimately, what, for example, you can do is you can work on your scene with live link enabled. And then when you're ready to make your, your final Vantage specific changes, you just export the scene out of your DCC tool, out of Corona, import it to Vantage, make the final changes. But you already know how things are going to look like because you've used live link. Right. Right. OK, so hopefully you now have a pretty good idea of just how useful this new functionality is. And so that's pretty much the intro to this tutorial. And so now uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, check out how you can actually start using LiveLink. OK, now to get LiveLink going, well, all you have to do is you just need to go under the Corona menu up here and then under Chaos Vantage here. And you can then just click the Start Vantage LiveLink button. As you can see, this icon is going to pop up, which means that live link is either initiating or it is in progress. It's essentially it's enabled, right? And in the background, what's going to happen is this scene is going to get exported out of Cinema 3D and imported into Vantage. Now, uh, the length of this process depends on uh, how complex the scene is. This scene is, I guess, at the very least moderately complex. Uh, but as you can see, uh, once it kind of gets exported, uh, Chaos Vantage is going to automatically start up for you. And then the scene is going to get imported um, into Vantage. And again, the process might take a second or a couple of seconds or a little bit longer. It does depend on the complexity of your, the scene you're working with, the amount of material it has, the geometry and everything. But as you can see, even with this moderately complex scene, we can call it that. Uh, you can see that the startup times for Vantage here aren't really all that much, right? Now, once Vantage is up and running and LiveLink is active, well, then any changes you make to your Cinema 4D scene, uh, well, then all that is going to get transferred over to Vantage and it's going to update the rendering there, right? So as you can see, we're moving the camera around, even the perspective viewport camera um, uh, gets transferred over to Vantage, right? And you can then, you know, do things like uh, move uh, stuff around, etc., etc. Now, one thing to note here is that while you're moving stuff around in Cinema 4D, as soon as you have your mouse button click down as you're moving something or uh, moving the camera, right? As soon as you let go of the mouse click or as soon as you end that operation, that's when you're going to be able to see uh, everything be updated in Vantage, okay? Okay, now, uh, if you want to disable the live link, uh, well, then all you have to do is you need to go under the corner menu again, Chaos Vantage, and just click on the Start Vantage Live Link button again. As you can see, now that the live link is active, this button is a little bit bluish bluer ish it has a blue background and if you just click on it uh, that's going to disable the live link and as you can see then uh, any changes you make to your scene well it those changes are not going to get transferred over to vantage although that said vantage is still going to be 
initialized here, you can still play around with the scene in there. It's just that, you know, live link is not going to be working, right? Right. Now, if you would like to restart live link, get it going again, then, you know, again, you just go under the corner menu and start the Vantage live link by clicking that Vantage live link button. This icon is going to pop up again and the scene is going to get uh, exported out and imported into Vantage again. Now, in this uh, case, because we already have Vantage running and we started uh, the live link once our we already had an active Vantage instance here. Uh, well, then we're not... Uh, by enabling LiveLink, we're not going to get another Vantage instance. Instead, uh, LiveLink is going to hook up into our existing Vantage instance here, right? And so, again, the export process um, does take some time. Depends, again, on the complexity of your scenes. But before you know it, you're going to be able to see that this thing is going to be up and running. As you can see, it's already initializing it. And uh, in a second or two, we're going to be in action here. All right. So let's just let's just give it an additional second, and there we go. We're in action here. So now we can, uh, you know, uh, we have a live link working, and we can start having uh, real time fun. So just to illustrate or demo some of the things that you can do with live link. Uh, for example, you can move stuff around, right? You can rotate your objects, reposition them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can do all that and see it be updated. Uh, in Vantage, you can edit materials. So in this example, we're just going to take this countertop material here. We're going to make it, I guess, darker looking. And as you can see, that's going to all be updated in Vantage as well. Um, you can add new objects into your scene. So we're going to add this cube because that's quite a statement piece, right, for for an apartment like this or a house like this. Uh, you can create new materials, right, and apply it to objects and do all that. Um, and obviously, you can then also just create uh, new lights, uh, place them into your scene wherever you see fit. And you can see all that be updated in Vantage as well. You can obviously edit your lights. Uh, you can change their color, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay. Now, as the name suggests, Live Link is a live link between the scene in your DCC tool and Vantage. But one thing uh, that you need to keep in mind here is that it's a one-way street. So the change that changes that you're making to your scene in your DCC tool, those will get transferred over to Vantage. But if you make any changes to your scene in Vantage, well, those won't get transferred over back to the scene in your DCC tool. Because remember, it's a one-way street from your DCC tool and into Vantage. So that's a pretty important bit to keep in mind. Now, there are also some limitations that you probably should keep in mind. So, uh, you know, whenever you're exporting your Corona scene and importing it into Vantage, so whenever you're not using LiveLink, any limitations that apply to that workflow also apply to LiveLink. So just as an example, right, uh, Vantage is a real-time render, and the way that it does mapping is quite a bit different than how Corona does it, right? And so uh, what happens is you can, depending on the mapping properties and the mapping types you're using, uh, you can uh, sometimes you will be able to notice that the mapping in Vantage does not match the mapping that you see in Corona. And to an extent, uh, you can say the same for the materials as well. So materials rendered in Vantage are going to look a little bit differently than they do in Corona because, uh, well, uh, you know, the, these are two different render engines. One is the real time render engine. The other is an offline render engine. OK, so that's something to keep in mind. But those are those are more of the general limitations. Um, a more LiveLink specific limitation that we would like to mention comes into play with whenever you're using complex chaos scatters. Uh, so those might need a little bit longer to update because essentially what at the moment needs to happen is whenever you tweak a scatter, uh, if it's really complex, it needs to be recalculated and all that needs to be uh, sent in its entirety uh, from the DCC tool from Corona uh, to Vantage, right? And then obviously uh, needs some time to complete, right? Uh, so that's something that we're looking at improving. But, you know, at the moment, we would just like to mention that it is a current limitation. And so maybe these are just some general limitations that you should keep in mind for whenever you're working with LiveLink.
Now, if at any point you're happy with your current setup, as we are here, because we obviously created um, an artistic masterpiece here. Well, if you're happy with it and you want to do a render in Vantage, while Live Link is active, you can do that. You just hop over to Vantage, hit the render button, and you know render it out by you know using the Vantage workflow. If you are not familiar with it, well then uh, you can check out our um, original Vantage tutorial when we first introduced the Vantage support in Corona. It's on our YouTube. Or, or alternatively, you know, you can watch any of the Vantage tutorials. But the main thing that we're trying to communicate here is that even with LiveLink Active, you can make renders straight out of Vantage, right? Now, alternatively, uh, let's say you've you, you've uh, worked on the scene in Cinema 4D because this is where you're most comfortable with, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but now you want to kind of transfer the scene over to Vantage and finish it off there, make some adjustments to it in Vantage. So, for example, maybe you want to uh, set up uh, different camera animations or you want objects to be moving around. Stuff you can set up in Vantage that doesn't get transferred over from the DCC tool, right? Well, in that case, what you what want to do is you want to go into the Corona uh, Vantage menu here and disable Live Link, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to export this scene out and open it in Vantage and continue working in it there, right? If you don't know how to export scenes out of Cinema 4D to get them ready for Vantage, then again, please do watch our original Vantage tutorial or any of the Vantage tutorials that we have available in general, or, you know, even uh, read our uh, docs page on the workflow. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about animations and how they work with LiveLink. At the moment, um, you can jump between keyframes uh, while Live Link is active, and you can expect the scene to transfer over fine as long as the animation itself is supported. Uh, now, uh, whether it is supported or not, you should consult the Vantage documentation and all that. But um, in practice, most of the animations coming from your DCC tool uh, are going to be supported. Now, what is also important to note is that you cannot render out your DCC setup animations in Vantage. So you can render out individual frames, but you cannot render an animation from start to finish because you can't transfer at the moment. You can't transfer that animation, uh, that full animation over to Vantage. Now, as always, we are looking at improving things and animations and live link um, are something that we are focused on. Now, we're not, we can't quite share anything yet, uh, but, you know, we are looking at further um, enhancing the interop here. All right. And with that, we are concluding this tutorial. Thank you so much for tuning in. We hope you've learned something new and we really hope you like this new functionality. Again, thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you in the next one.